last night alone between the hours of 11 p.m. and 3 a.m., we saw more than 50 arrests, some for shooting, some for looting, and our officers have taken an incredible amount of rocks. This Allen Mall and this Neiman Marcus Bagel Company is because they were attacked by over 100 people last night. So you can see that they are still using the metal gates. The incident of the white police, Xiao Wen, has been charged with three-degree murder and two-degree murder. The lawyer says the charge is too light. 当然，我们这样来看的话，的确对于呃白人警察来讲，用三级谋杀似乎好像好像对他太轻了一点，他可能甚至可以到二级谋杀。那一级谋杀的话，呃比较难一点，因为一级谋杀必须要预谋的行为。目前来看，在这个案子比较特殊的情况，是因为当时有很多人都去拍，就是拍影片了，所以网络上传了很多影片，其实可以去证明这个。警察他的行他的行为可能实际上已经达到二级谋杀了。明尼苏达州没有死刑，一级、二级、三级谋杀分别最高可判终身监禁、四十年和二十五年。但以该州的判例来说，三级谋杀最高指挥官十二年半。律师也强调，美国刑案最大的关键因素是陪审员。那一般来讲，陪审员他们其实会比较倾向站在警察这一边。那也会比较，就是他们会希望给予警察比较大的执法空间，对，因为如果你如果你太限制警察，警察之后就不愿意再去帮你帮你抓这些犯人嘛。虽然目前法院还会判下来，但明州几年前有类似案例，也是白人警察误杀一名女性，同样被判十二年半。或许这是民众对于类似案件总是一再重演，再加上司法轻判，无法遏制执法过当的行为，累积的怒火所致。华语新闻特派记者曾玉晶在戏谷的采访报道。